Hello everyone, I'm Noxious Asp, and welcome to another installment of my series, Machine Spotlight, where we take a close look at some of the new and returning machines found in Horizon Forbidden West. In this installment, we'll be shining the spotlight on the Scorcher. The Scorcher was initially introduced in the expansion for Horizon Zero Dawn, The Frozen Wilds, as a new enemy machine found in the Banuke lands, The Cut. It was created by Hephaestus as a purpose-built combat machine, excelling at hunting down human prey. The Scorcher closely resembles modern-day wolves or foxes, with a sleek, powerful body, tall pointy ears, and strong, protruding snout. Its body is protected by white and gold armor plating, and it uses a combination of melee and ranged attacks amplified by fire, giving it its name. Curiously, it no longer has blaze canisters, leaving us to wonder where the heck the fire is coming from. In this video, I will be covering key information on the Scorcher, including its locations, weak points, combat strategies, and more. If you find yourself enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started by looking at the Scorcher's locations on the map. The Scorcher only has two dedicated machine sites. The first site is located just west of the Tanakh outpost Sky's Sentry. Here, you can routinely find a lone Scorcher with claw striders atop the nearby cliff. Occasionally, two Scorchers can spawn at this site. The only other marked site is located in the valley due west of the Tanakh Sky Clan capital, the Bulwark. Here, you can find a single Scorcher with no other machines in the immediate vicinity. You can also encounter a Scorcher as part of the mission Valley of the Fallen. This can be considered a late game side mission, and trust me when I say you should definitely check it out yourself if you haven't already. Next, let's review the machine catalog entry for the Scorcher. Scorcher, a level 30 combat midweight machine. An uncompromising combat machine. It uses devastating fire attacks and can launch across the battlefield with its powerful melee attacks. It is weak versus frost and shock damage and strong versus fire damage. Notable loot includes Blaze, Piercing Spike, Crystal Braiding, Metal Shards, Sparker, Braided Wire, Scorcher Circulator, Medium Machine Core, Sturdy Hardplate, Machine Muscle, Scorcher Primary Nerve, Luminous Brainstem, and Metal Bone. Now let's review the machine catalog entry for the only other variant of the Scorcher, the Apex Scorcher. Apex Scorcher, a level 48 combat midweight machine. A hunter-killer variant recognizable by black and gold armor plates and purple muscles. It has been modified to be significantly more resilient and deadly. It cannot be overridden. It is weak versus purge water damage and strong versus frost and shock damage. You can find similar loot with the regular variant, albeit with the addition of a 51% drop rate for Apex Scorcher Heart. Let's now study the Scorcher's weak points so that we can take advantage of them in battle. 2. Purge Water Canisters act as purge water storage and rest just behind the Scorcher's shoulders, protected by metal plates. Remove the metal plates, then either detach to collect the resource or shoot with the purge water arrow to detonate and inflict the drench state, which significantly reduces the Scorcher's offensive capabilities. A mine launcher, utilized by the Scorcher for ranged attacks, rests on its upper back. Detach it to use as a weapon for yourself. When detached, the mine launcher holds 10 rounds. Scatter them across the battlefield and watch the hilarity ensue. The Scorcher's power generator sits atop its haunches and acts as a reinforced power source. Destroy it to trigger a large and powerful shock explosion and inflict the shock state. Two highly sensitive scanning ears lie on either side of the Scorcher's head and are utilized to search for previously spotted enemies with high accuracy. Detach them to collect a key upgrade resource for your gear. Now let's familiarize ourselves with the Scorcher's range of attacks. Watch out for its fiery bite. Its ranged attacks include a wave of fire as well as its mine launcher. Thankfully, these can be easily dodged. Here you can see its signature move, Ignition Boost, where it turns itself into a literal rocket for a devastating strike from afar, leaving a fiery wake in its path. 
keep dodging to the side to avoid its fiery claw strikes. Stay too close and you may find yourself engulfed in its AoE Firestorm attack. Adopt all the strategies you've learned in this video and you'll be able to conquer the Scorcher in no time. The Scorcher can indeed be overridden, however, you will first need to clear Cauldron Chi and obtain its overrides. The override for the Scorcher will initially come corrupted, so you will have to craft the uncorrupted override using three Scorcher scanning ears as well as one Scorcher primary nerf. Now, I will demonstrate overriding a Scorcher in the wild. Of note, once overridden, you will not be able to collect the Scorcher's scanning ears. We'll set it to aggressive and see how it fares against the nearby Apex Scorcher. It's like watching my dogs fight over a toy. If they weighed tons, were made of metal, and breathed fire, that is. That was quick. Our overridden Scorcher is victorious. Let's see how it does against a Shellwalker Convoy. As expected, it makes short work of the Shellwalker and Burrower. Perhaps instinctually, overriding a Scorcher to call my own just feels right. What would you name your Scorcher? I'd name mine Cerberus. Good boy, Cerberus. Well, that concludes this installment of Machine Spotlight, where we shine the spotlight on the Scorcher. Tell me what you think of the Scorcher in the comments below. The Scorcher easily makes my top 10 list of favorite machines. I do wish we can use them as a mount and ride them into battle. To balance it, they could remove the mine launcher when mounted, make the power generator more vulnerable, and have the ignition boost on a cooldown, similar to Valor Surges. What do you think? Also, I'd like to know what machine you like more, the Scorcher or the Ravager. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and check out my Machine Spotlight playlist. As always, I'm Noxious Asp. Thanks for watching.